Hi guys, so this is one of the stickers that I recently received and it's a little yellow whale which is transparent. Here's the second option, it's a celestial polar bear I guess. Um, this is also transparent, so this is option number two. I need your help to see which one you guys want to be this month's Patreon sticker, so either the whale or the bear. Last week I was drawing little postcards and I finally got them printed on some 300 gram um, print paper and now I'm just going to cut them down to a 6 size. And also, my little package arrived this week from Anne, all the way from the US, and I ordered some little stickers from her online shop. And they made it to New Zealand, so yay, I'm very excited to see them. I ordered some paints from AliExpress around three weeks ago, so they also finally arrived this week and I'm just unpackaging it now. I've actually seen so many artists on Instagram and on YouTube try out these paints. They were quite cheap, so I'm going to test them out later. So these are gouache paints and they came in these little tubs. There are 18 of them and two tubs of white, which is very good because I use white the most when I'm using gouache. The consistency is similar to jelly, but I've realized that some are thicker than the others. I'm just going to open all of them and place them in the little tubs that they came in so it's easier for you guys to see the different colors and hope that they don't dry out within a few months.
Okay, now I'm going to swatch all the colors. I'm gonna start off the swatch with a semi-wet brush just to see the consistency and then I'm going to add water to the brush. I'm not even sure if I'm swatching that correctly but I know that when I draw with gouache I always tend to add a little bit of water so that's how I'm going to swatch it here. I'm so I'm actually quite surprised at how vibrant and opaque the colors can be and I think for the price that it was, it's quite a reasonable palette, especially if you're just starting out with watercolor. Um, I definitely will be using this palette for future paintings. So yeah, I would recommend it. And that's it for my second studio vlog. If you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe and like, and thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!